I've done targets before, hit targets that were just they were just wrong, mm-hmm. and and that was a huge lesson learned for me. I hit a target one time, my first deployment to Iraq, and and pulled the thread on the because I got back thinking that was not right. Like wh- that that person, the guy that we got, is not a bad guy. Mm-hmm. He clearly was not a bad guy, and it came back and started pulling the thread. Hey, who who did this? Who gave us this information? And eventually pulled the thread, and it was um, like he had his wife had fired the maid Mm. or something like that. It was something like that. The maid was pissed. And so she went and started telling Americans that, oh yeah, this guy, he's a bad guy. He's financing, you know, that kind of thing. Um, And so that was a huge lesson for me because from then on, my my question would be who put this X on this building? Because that's what we would literally get would be a, a map and there'd be an X on the building, a red X, just like a movie, a red X on a building. And I would say, who put that red X there? Mm-hmm. I wanna know who put that red X in. And I would pull the thread and find out exactly, hey, this is the information that we've got, this is what's corroborated. It's really, really hard. And if you're not in that mode and there's pressure, that's where these people make these um, quick calls to to try and do something. and. You know, again, I don't. I'll, I'll, I want to pull the thread on that more, and hopefully, I can try and as it becomes declassified, because I'm sure some of it's classified. Where they're getting information from, all that stuff can be classified. But it'll be interesting to pull the thread on that and see why they pulled the trigger on on that mission. And the report came back saying nobody was responsible, nobody was held accountable. It was just a mistake that that they couldn't sort of pin to one person. Was the Pentagon report on it? And I thought, how is that? How is that possible? You know, how is nobody held accountable to this yeah. at all? Well, th- you know, even for me, when we hit that target and cap- c- caught this guy, thank God we didn't shoot him. Thank God he didn't resist. He didn't resist because he wasn't a bad guy. Mm-hmm. So we went, we grabbed this guy. But w- the reason I wanted was so engaged with that was because I knew it was me. <laughs> hey, I'm the one that's p- kicking in the door and we're, you know, well, my team is doing that. So... I need to take ownership of what we're doing and make sure that this is the right thing to do in the right situation. Because, yeah, I mean, so if there, if you're allowed to sort of push responsibility onto 14 different people that all had a hand in the intel gathering, which a bunch of people do gather that intel, but who's pulling the trigger, who's saying, yes, go, and you need to own that. If you make that mistake and explain why, and then you can put some procedures in place that won't let it happen again. Mm. And also you have to question a little bit, you have the Inspector General of the Air Force investigating the Air Force. Like, you know, would it be better to have an independent person looking at this as opposed to having somebody investigate themselves? I don't know, I I don't, it's just sort of a question that I've asked myself. And there's another thing that can happen as well. And this was a, a term that I first heard when I was in Iraq, my second deployment, Good shot, bad result. Meaning, when you lay out what happened, what a individual saw, like if the person that pulled the trigger, what he saw, what he understood, what he was thinking, you lay all those things out, and you say, you know what, you, that was a good shot. I understand why you took that shot. I'm sorry that this is what happened, but we at least we at least investigate and say, okay, how did this happen? How did this occur? And how do we make sure that, first of all, the person wasn't being negligent, the person's not trying to hide anything, because look, when you're in war, you're gonna shoot people, and occasionally you're gonna shoot someone that didn't deserve to get shot. That happens, and when that happens, you have to actually look at it and say, okay, how did it happen? How did you make that decision? Why did you make that decision? What did you see? You pull all that stuff apart, and with my guys, the couple times that something like this happened, it was, hey, I understand why you took that shot. And and it was actually the right call, and I'm it's horrible that it has a bad result, but I understand why you did it, and it made sense. You know, that's a lot different than, oh, wait a second, you didn't see anything that looked suspicious, or you, you know, why did you shoot this? Well, I don't know. No, never got that answer, and never was in those situations. So... For, for to your point, 
for to pull the thread on the whole thing if someone said hey this is what we saw this is the vehicle that we were targeting this is the intel hit that we got this is what our informant said this is what our electronic surveillance said they could actually paint a picture where you say you know in that pressure situation i understand what you did i understand why you took that shot and you took the risk at taking that shot so you could save americans and save an attack i understand that okay now we we at least learned something but to just say Mm, nothing it doesn't make sense Mm. it's not it's not the right move man freaking horrible